Well, my name is Emma Muscat. I'm a 22-year-old singer, songwriter, and pianist. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> my career took off at the age of 18 when I took part in a television program, an Italian television program uh, related to music. And I arrived in the semi-final. I got signed to a record label at the age of 18. And ever since then, my career has been uh, an uphill journey. And I feel very grateful to have the opportunity this year to represent my country. What musical experience has made the largest impression on you? Musical experience? Um, probably performing with uh, er Eros Ramazzotti, who is um, a big Italian artist. Um, I felt very privileged to have the opportunity to perform with him in 2018. What inspires you as an artist? Um, I'm, I'm inspired by daily experiences, by different emotions, um, definitely also by classical music. And that is one of my biggest inspirations, actually. And uh, yeah, love inspires me. It's all right. Great. Um, you changed the song after the national final. Why is that? After Sight was the song I won the national final with. Um, and after receiving feedback from the public um, stating their wish to change, I also realized um, that Out of Sight was a, a song very personal to myself. Um, so then we started the process of choosing a new song. And that's where I Am What I Am came around. And that song was also very personal to me in the sense that the message was important and I feel like it's a song which is more relatable to the general public because the message talks about self-love and being who you want to be and being true to yourself. How did people in Malta react on you changing your song? The majority were um, glad that the song changed since it was um, their uh, wish in the first place to have the song changed. Um, obviously, you always have some feedback, some negative feedback from the occasional people, but majority was uh, very happy with the change. Now I know that you did have some influence on I Am While I Am. The song wasn't written by you in the first place. So no. how would you compare the songs with the music you write yourself? So basically, I Am What I Am was written last year. Um, however, as soon as I did hear it for the first time, I immediately felt a connection, like I said, with the lyrics of the song um, and with the general feel. Um, then what happened was that I wanted to personalize, I wanted to basically make it my own. So we did um, change some lyrics around um, to make it more ma meaningful to myself, to my usual style, um, because usually the things I write are a little bit more mellow and R&B pop, but this is very uplifting. Hmm. There's been a lot of talking about the stage and not, not least the problems with the stage. Did you have to change your scene performance in order to adjust to the new conditions? Um, well, honestly, everything ran very smoothly during my first performance, during my first rehearsal, and um, nearly everything went to plan. There are still some changes that are going to be made to uh, better the staging and the performance. However, the general idea has remain the same in my case. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and in your video, there's a quite clear message of tolerance and including, uh, inclusion of minorities and so on. How do you transfer, transfer that message and that feeling to your stage performance? Well, um, like I said, the video is a very simple one with a very strong message, which is the message of inclusivity and diversity, um, uh, and that our differences make us unique and they make us who we are. And um, I personally, when I was growing up, I had my own insecurities and I had my own hard time accepting things about myself that others wouldn't know about, for example. Um, uh, so the song is a very personal one to me too. Um, uh, when it comes to my performance, 
I feel like I transpire the message just through the energy that I give out and uh, and through the words of the song it says. Um, so yes, that's basically it. Mm. Who do you think is your biggest contestant in the um, Eurovision? Well, there are many great contestants this year. Um, it's difficult to choose just one. I mean, I think my biggest contestant is myself because I always want to better my performance and I always want to better the version of myself that I am today. So tomorrow I want to be better than I am today. And I'm looking forward to the second rehearsal as well to, you know, just compete with my first rehearsal and just make it better and better than that it could possibly be. Hmm. Do I have a personal favorite amongst the other contestants? Um, yes. I absolutely love Mahmoud and Blanco and their song Greedy Dean. Um, and I also really like UK um, with Sam Ryder and Spaceman. Um, what else do I like? I like the Rasmus with Jezebel. I think it's really cool. Um, mm. Cornelia Jacobs. Yeah. Mm. What has been the funniest experience with the Eurovision journey until now? funniest hmm? probably the free parties the free parties that we everyone past the weeks those are really entertaining and very very fun um we had a lot of traveling to do so probably waking up every morning in a different country hmm. and being confused about where we are yeah i know that your vision is a big thing in malta does that put extra pressure on you Um, your vision is a very big thing in Malta. It's basically the music event of the year. Um, I do feel pressure because it's at the end of the day a big responsibility representing a whole nation um, in a competition which is so, you know, widely followed. Um, however, the pressure is a good one. I feel like it pushes me to do even better, and I feel the adrenaline is in, at the nicest part of the experience. It's um, It makes me excited and it makes me give my own on stage. Mm. What's your own relation to your vision? Um, I follow closely your vision every year since I was young. And, um, you know, it's just been a, an event where which unites when me with my family and I with my friends. And it's always so lovely to support um, your favorites in the Eurovision. Nice. Which song is your favorite Eurovision winner? Um, Duncan Lawrence with Arcade. Great song. I absolutely love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. As the last thing, do I have a message to the viewers out there? Yes, uh, most definitely. Be who you want to be. Don't let anyone put you down and don't listen to the hate. Um, uh, thank you so much for your support. And If you do like my performance in the second semi-final, please vote.